in Science, where we upload a new math or science video every day. In this video, I'd like to talk about factoring expressions. And uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go through the steps. First, you pull the numbers out and put them in a sled. And I'll show you how we do that. And then you find the greatest common factor, or the GCF. And then you write the GCF in front of the parentheses. And then you write the numbers or variables inside the parentheses along with the addition or subtraction sign between. Before we get started, let me um, refresh your memory on when I say put it into a sled. Uh, here is what uh, you will do. So for instance, I, I need to find the uh, GCF for the greatest common factor of 18 and 24. And remember that GCF is the largest number that will divide into both numbers evenly. Okay, so here's the sled I was talking about. And um, you put it, the number that goes on the outside is what will divide evenly into both of these. And I'm just going to go ahead and start with this with just very simple. I know that 2 will go into both of these because they end in an even number. Okay, and if you want to, you can use uh, a larger number, but 2 will work. So 2 goes into 18 9 times, and 2 goes into 24 12 times. Okay, so I'm not finished yet. Next, I what will go into 9 and 12 even, evenly, and that is 3. So 3 goes into 9 3 times, 3 goes into 12 4 times. Okay, now at this point, the only number that will go into both of these evenly is 1. So to find the GCF, all I do is I take the numbers on the outside and multiply them together. 2 times 3 times 1 is 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 1 is 6. So that's your GCF. Now, it works really well. In fact, uh, say we have these two larger numbers. I will write them under the sled, okay? And I'm going to start with 2 again. You can start with a larger number, but I know 2 goes into 160, what is that, 80 times. And let me draw a slit. And 2 goes into 144. I know that 7 times 2 is 14, and 7, 2 will go into 4, 2 times. So now, again, I can use 2 again. 2 goes into 80, 40. And 2 goes into 72, what is that, 36 times. Okay, and so now I know that 2 will go into it again, so that's 20 and 18. And then at this point, uh, let's see, what will go into 20 and 18? Um, 2 again, so now we have 10 and 9. And at this point, we are down to the only number that will go into it is 1. So uh, 1 times 10 and 1 times 9. So now I just pull the numbers on the outside. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 1, which is 4 times 2, which is equal to. So we got 2 times 2 is 4. And then another 2 is here. That's 8 times 2 again is 16. Okay, and I put 1 too many 2s. So the greatest common factor is 16. Okay, so that is, uh, I think some people also call that the ladder method. So now let's get to um, factoring the expression. So now we have 48 and 72. I pull them out, put them in a sled. Okay, 2 will go into both of those, and that 24 and 36. 2 will go again, that's 12, and what is that, 18. And then let's try another number. 3 uh, will go into both of those. 3 goes into 12, 4, and 6. And then goes into 2 will go into 4 and 6. And that is 2 and 3. And now the only number is 1. Okay, so now I have 2 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. Okay, so now I just write um, 24 so now I write 24 on the outside and then 
24 will go into 48C, 2C, plus 24 will go into 72, 3. So it is factored down to 24 times in the parentheses 2C plus 3. Okay, let's wor work one more example. We have 72 plus 18J. I'm going to write 72 and 18. Draw a sled. Uh, I'll start with 2. 2 will go into 72 36 times. 2 will go into 18 9. Now at this point, 3 will go into both of those, and that will be 12 and 3. And then 3 will go again, and that's 4 and 1. And at this point, we have 1 on the outside. So now let's find the GCF by taking 2 times 3 times 3 times 1, which is equal to 6 times 3, which is equal to 18. So now I divide each of these numbers by 18. So I put 18 on the outside. 18 will go into 72 4 times. So it will be 4 plus, and 18 goes into 18j one time, so that would be 1j, or you could write that just as a j. So there it is. That's how we factor expressions. Find the GCF, put the GCF on the outside, and then divide each number by the GCF and put those on the inside. I hope that helps, and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.